What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rob's here, and today it's official. We're finally starting our playthrough of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, uh, this is going to be kind of a test. I know it's been kind of a while, and everybody pretty much already did a playthrough. So, if you don't want me to do a playthrough, let me know in the comment section below. If you do want me to keep doing a playthrough, then um, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know that you are guys enjoying it, and I'll you know keep playing. So for today, all we're going to do is we're going to create our character and then we're going to play through the prologue of the story. And then from there, we'll just see what happens if you guys want an episode two or not. So this is kind of like up to you guys. The fate of this playthrough is in your hands. So um, first things first, I'm the realist. Now, nah. first things first, I have to figure out what character I'm going to play as. Now, you guys already know that I've been playing as a Frieza character for my first, I guess, playthrough of the game, which I didn't really upload. Uh, but I think... I think we're gonna have to do a Saiyan character. Let's do that. Let's do a Saiyan character. So we're gonna do Saiyan male and um, appearance. Let's see what we're gonna do. Oh gosh, this is going to be okay. Let's see what we got. So we got. Let's go through the hairs first because the hairs are kind of the easiest to choose from. Bald? Should we do bald? No, I'm not gonna do bald. I think type 11 might be the one that I want to go with. Type 11 is my favorite hairs that I've seen. Yeah, definitely type 11. So we're gonna do chai chais. We're gonna choose type 11. For the pupils, let's do something kind of like ragey. Something ragey. No, not that. Uh, what's What says rage? What says don't mess with me? Does that say don't mess with me? No, not that one. Let's do... How about this one? This one says don't mess with me. Pupils. How big am I going to be? Um, We got to have the... Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that one. Definitely that one. Nose. Let's choose a nose. I think we'll just choose... What's type 1 look like? Type 1. Um... Uh, I think type 3 is a... Yep, type 3 is going to be my nose. Mouth and jaw. Uh, actually, I want the scar because I didn't know that scar was there and everybody's been playing with it. And for long, so I thought the scar was actually just a... Um, was a uh, accessory for some reason. I don't know why a scar would be an accessory. But I think we're going to go ahead and choose a scar, the Yamcha scar. And... Yeah, let's do that. The Yamcha scar it is. And for ears... Let's do... Let's do type 3. Type 3 says, says me. Alright, body type. A little bit skinny. Height should be about, let's do right there. And then now the colors. Skin tone. Uh, let's, let's zoom in. The skin tone, let's do blue. No, nah, we can't be a blue saint. Actually, I should just pick like a random color. Like, I should be like, uh, I don't know. It should just be pink or something. Or just like blue or white. Like a little white ghost. Hmm. This is tough. I think I'm just going to choose a regular color. How about, how about, uh, mm, that's, that, that's good. That's good. Hair color. I kind of want gray. Here we go. Go for the whole Kalua look. And from eye color, I kind of want to stick with. Let's stick with blue, actually. From a color. Oh, here we go. Blue. Like that. How's that? That good? Let's, let's do that. Upper body. Now, this is going to kind of affect my entire character throughout the game. So, uh, whatever I choose kind of has to be like the right one. And usually I always play with the red and black combo, but we're not, we're not going to do it this time. I think we're going to go with something more bluish. How about, how about we do that, and, no, not, not like that, how about, hmm, yes, that's what we're going to do, and how about for my undershirt, we'll do something like, uh, I should just keep it black, I really should just keep it black, no, you know what, I kind of like the green, let's do, just a little bit of, how about that, that, that green right there, this should do it, my lower body, it's my build, right? I do the same colors of green, green, green. It is. Uh, my hands. We'll choose. Let's do green as well, just because it fits, you know, the color scheme. And for the feet, um, we got I get get the little green shoelaces like that. And let's do green at the top. But overall, we'll keep the shoes black. Actually, we should keep the shoes blue. Just to kind of go with the whole outfit. How's that? Yes. Is that, is that the same blue color? Let's see. That, whoop, it is, is it, same one, no it's not, it's kind of like the, the lighter one, this one, there we go, alright, that's going to be our character, how's that, is that a good look, that's a good look, alright, name and voice, um, for the name I just do rhyme style like always, so here we go, uh, rhyme style, here we go, and this is my first time actually making a Saiyan character, this is awesome, well not really my first time, I made one once before but I never really used them, and for voices, Do, let's do voice 7. I mean, I always play with voice 8, but uh, you know what? Let's do something different this time. So how's that for a character? I think it's good. That's a good look. Let's go ahead and then choose this one and 
Start. Confirm. All right, here we go. What fight style do you prefer? Let's keep it balanced, actually, for now. Because it doesn't matter. Because this is just kind of the options of uh, choosing the basic attacks when we first start the game. Um, but as soon as we jump in, we're going to run to uh, the temple. The, the time temple. And do the prologue. And when I get there, I'm also going to choose my character's attacks. Because I kind of have a lot of attacks unlocked in the game. Not everything yet. But I probably would say I have maybe like 60% of every move unlocked in the game. Somewhere around there. I wonder if we can actually check. Let's see if we can check. Um... Hopefully, it's going to let me connect to the Xenoverse servers. Because you know how iffy it is sometimes. So, let's see. Come on. Let me in. Oh, there we go. There, there's my character. All right. I kind of like that look. I kind of like that look. You know, I have to choose the whole gray hair. It's just going for the whole Kalua look. All right. I actually already have an idea of what costume I'm going to put on this character. So, I guess the colors I just picked were kind of pointless anyways. But let's go ahead and run to uh, the temple first. And then when we get there, we're going to do the prologue of the story, which is basically just playing through, you know, the the real fights. And then it's going to set up the story for later. So we're going to just run through that real fast. Come on. Let's get to the end. And also, um, now I'll ask this question later. I was going to ask, like, how many times should I play through it? Should I play as different races and stuff? But I guess it's a question to ask later. Because for all I know, you guys don't even really want a playthrough just quite yet. Somebody sent me an item. Let's see what some, someone sent me. Um... I always get on here and I always get items from you guys. It's fr pretty freaking awesome. So thank you to everybody who's been sending me stuff. Let's see what we got. Gifts from users. Let's see what we got. Something cool. Bio suit. I'll take that. Ooh, oops, close too. I don't think I had those. I had a bio suit because I played through the Frieza um, race, obviously. But uh, get gift. Users. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Oops, close. Ooh, that's a shirt too. I might put that on. All right. So we kind of got our character created. Uh, and now... We're going to run to the temple and start the story once again. Here we go. Level one. Starting off fresh. Even though I'm not going to play as my character just quite yet. Uh, I'll play as, you know, the main characters first. But you get it. You get the picture. All right. So in case you don't know, you can play through a story again by just going to that temple up ahead. And when you walk in there, you'll be able to choose all the stories and missions and replay them again. And hopefully get a better rank this time, which is another goal for myself. Is I want to rank better this time. So here we go. So here's my character. And let's go ahead and customize his equipment first. So uniform. What are we going to do? Let's actually get rid of this. Get out of here. Go away. All right. Let's start at the top. Here we go. I pretty much bought everything as well. I was like kind of preparing for this. Um, let's go. I kind of like that, but no, no cape for me. No armors. I really don't want to play the armors as well. Uh, although I look good with that armor, actually. Um, Android 17. Eh, Beerus. It's funny, Beerus' uh, clothes actually give you a huge... Look at that stat increase. I mean, it kills my health and key, but everything else just goes all the way up. I'll probably play with that once I unlock the whole outfit. I only have, like, this shirt. Um, Hercule, no. Actually, I should probably keep an eye on what we're getting. Here we go. Um, Oops, clothes. Oh, I think this is the first time I actually saw Oops clothes in this game. I mean, uh, in terms of, like, me wearing it. I've never seen people actually wear it and stuff. Ox King, Krillin, Lord Slug. Actually, I kind of like the Lord Slug look. Um... Karinga Tribe, Wild Rider. Wild Rider actually looks kind of cool. It gives you a pretty decent uh, stat upgrade. Actually, I might put that on. But let's actually keep... Let's see what else we got. Um, Android 18. I like how Android 18's clothes isn't even an option for dudes. Commander Red. No. King Kai. No. What do we get for this? What are the stats for this? Oh, nothing. I'm kind of upset that the bandages give you such a crappy up, uh, boost. Because I would totally wear those. No for that. No for that. Whoa, this is actually kind of cool. Turtle Hermit outfit. Um, I might put that on actually, cause I like the yeah. Let's do that. Let's see what else we got. Um, training temple gi, student blazer. Ooh, I actually like that. Damn it! See, uh, I'm just gonna end up like changing. Like the worst part is gonna be figuring out what to wear. Okay, I think we got. I think the pilot suit is the one. Let's do a pilot suit. Pilot suit. Where are you? Uh, do I not have the bottom for the pilot suit? I don't think I do. Okay, that's fine. Um, what is the best increase in, well, I should actually choose the, the, um, the wraps. Let's see, what gives me the best boost? Uh, ooh, that, there we go. And, oh, I got the pilot suit shoes. All right, so that's my character, and we got to choose an accessory as well. So let's find something that fits. Um... No, no, none of that. Actually, it gets a little closer. I kind of like the green scouter. Should we do the green scouter? I think we'll do the green scouter or Tapion sword. Tapion sword is always a good look, except for it doesn't look this good with this outfit. Same thing with Z4. Let's do the old scouter. Here we go. 
And Z Soul. All right. Now this one's gonna be kind of tough because I unlocked a bunch of Z Souls since I got this game, and I haven't really played with them yet. So let's see what we can get with this. So Vegeta, Raditz, um, increase the movement speed. I kind of like this, but we're not gonna play with this. Brother is fast in the universe. No. Uh. No. God, I got a bunch. I should really like look through a bunch of these. Um. I might do Gouldos again. Unless I have another Vaha Got You, which is the energy one, which gives me key. Which I really like. Um, equipping the soul extends transformation duration for skills. Also, what transfer skills? Stamina recovery speed increases. Ooh, that's nice. Um, who? No. No. Uh, this could be useful, but no. Because I never let my health get that low. Um... Because of payback, no. I don't even know what destruction bomb is. Does anyone know what that is? Uh, a great increase to key blast and special skill power. Oh, this is kind of cool. Access and keys at max. I'll equip that for now because I might actually keep that. Um, equipping this so greatly reduces stamina recovery speed, but when keys are maxed, the amount of damage is greatly reduced. That's awesome. It makes me really slow though. Uh, wait, no, not slow. Uh, equipping this so greatly reduces stamina. Recovery speed. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. Well, it's not that bad. The keys are maxed. The amount of damage received is greatly reduced. Ooh, this is my. This might be kind of useful. Let's equip this for now. So let's see what else we got. Um, also, damage received is largely decreased when keys are maxed. Uh, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, greatly reduced. Uh, so auto charge the key. Also, the damage received is largely decreased when keys. Yeah, I'm gonna equip that. That's, that's pretty much the same thing. Thanks for the energy. I heard that's kind of useless now. So we're not going to choose that. And I think we are good. All right. There's a character. Look at him. Pretty awesome, actually. I kind of like this look. All right. Uh, skill set. We got to choose some attacks first. So let's first things first. Let's choose some moves. Um, let's choose a key attack first. I think I'm going to choose Milky Can just because it's awesome. Um, consecutive Energy Blast. Let's do something. Let's do, I should do Kyogre times 20 because Kyogre times 20 is awesome. Uh, let's do, definitely instant transmission. I love instant transmission in this game. Um, this is what, at yeah, circle, I'll, ch I'll charge with this maximum charge, super attack, and then this should be something that's strikey. How about super drain? This is essentially the same moveset that I have over his head. Um, Actually, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I will change maximum key charge to this. This is a move that I've been wanting to use, but I can't. Uh, not Burning Slash, but the other move. Where's the other move? Shining Slash. Did I unlock Shining? Oh, I don't think I unlocked it. I unlocked it. I only have Burning Slash. Boo! Okay. Yeah, because you can't use the sword attacks with other races. Well, specifically, you can only use it with, like, the humanoid races, so, like Saiyans and humans. Um... Godbreak, oppose a strike. Let's see if your enemy and fire a key blast. Let's do that, actually. Godbreaker instead of key charge. Okay, for ultimate attacks, we're going to choose. How about um, Victory Rush? Because it looks cool. And how about. Of course, I gotta break out my uh, usual. Actually, I have Super Vegeta. Ooh. I feel like I should play with Super Vegeta. So then I'll change this to Super Electric Strike. Here we go. And finally, the evasive move. How about we play as... Do I have... Actually, I don't think I have it. I don't. All right. Force Shield it is. Do I have that? Yep. Force Shield is going to be the success factor here. All right. So there's our character. Um, so first things first, like I said, is we're going to play through a prolo prologue, which shouldn't take that long. But again, this is kind of like intro stage to get me into you know playing this. So here we go. Prologue it is. And again, if you guys want me to play, keep playing through this, let me know with a like rating below, comments. Uh, if not, tell me you don't want it so I can do other stuff. Because I know by now everybody pretty much has played through the story. But I want to be quiet for this part. Here we go. Shh. That nostalgia, though. Alright, Frieza. 
What level am I actually? Let me see. You can check. Level 25. What are my moves? Super Saiyan. I like how I can't even. Like, I'm not even running out of key here. Come here, me. Get blast. Wow, you actually took that hit? Come on, Frieza. Do better than that. Come here. I like how my only moves are Meteor Strike and Kamehameha, like Goku did not use more moves against Frieza. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think he really did. When we get his health low enough, we're gonna finish off the Kamehameha. This one. Actually, that's not low enough quite yet. Here we go. Ooh, don't talk about Krillin. You're gonna make him mad. Oh god, grab me. Nice, Frieza! Talking about Krillin? But now I gotta break your face. Oh god, I messed it up. There we go. I always mess up Meteor Strike every time. Let's finish him off. Super Kimmy and me. There we go. Alright. So he's gone. And now we're gonna do a quick time shift to go to the next port. Here we go. God, I love how the loading screens are not long in this game. That's like my one of my favorite aspects of the universe. Do you think I'm died? I am not died. I'm gonna get back up my feet. Time skip. All right, here we go. What fight do you guys like better, Cell versus Goku or Freeza versus Goku? I obviously Freeza fight lasted a lot longer, but the fight against uh, Cell with Goku was just so epic. That's a shame. I really wanted to save the best. Oh god! Here we go. Ugh! Come on, Cell, do something. I just realized they don't have warp coming on behind this game. They essentially just have isn't transmission mixing it with like super coming out. So it's like Kame, Hame. Ugh. I can just do this like by Kame, Hame. And I missed. Of course I missed. Is there warp coming out? No, I don't think there is. Is there? That's surprising, actually. Is it? Actually, I, I don't know. I know I, I never, I definitely never used it if it is in the game. Here we go. I really like the prologue in this game. It kind of like gives it a nostalgic feel of playing through Dragon Ball Z through the main story. Because I know a lot of people are like, I want to play it through Dragon Ball Z. I want to play it through a custom story, which is weird. There we go. Oh, I missed again. Why is it not hitting? Kick, kick, kick. Why, why is it not kicking? Is it broken? Sell's a cheater. So you know what happens to cheaters? We uh, warp Kamehameha them. Like this. It's like Kamehameha. Kamehameha. There it is. There's the warp Kamehameha. Little bootleg version of it. Alright. Sell's out. Next part. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Goku gives up. Alright. Here we go. One last part and I believe then it's going to shift into... Introducing me into the game. All right. Huh? He twitched. All right. Now we're off to Kid Buu. No, no, Super Buu. Is it Kid Buu or Super Buu? I don't remember. No, it's Kid Buu. It's Kid Buu. Yes. All right. Am I gonna am I gonna go Super Saiyan three? I don't remember. Do I go Super Saiyan three? I do. Here we go. Bring it on, Majin Buu. Come here. I, better start I still have the same move set. We there we go. We're going, going to quickly be... knock out Kid Buu real fast. And come here. Kick. Oh, nice. I like how like it's kind of difficult to use the, the charge melee move sometimes. Cause they, like Everybody always dodges them. Kick. I guess they have no choice to dodge because if they hit them, it's, it does quite a amount of damage. Quite amount of oh, aim eight. <laughs> Quite amount eight damage. Good job, Rhyme Style. Great English. How long have I been in the US right now? Long enough to not learn English, apparently. Uh, let's finish off Kid Buu with the Super Kamehameha just like, the, like I did everybody else. Get out of here! Oh, you're not died yet. Why aren't you died? Stay right there. Okay, you maybe blow something up. Actually, I should just. Ugh. God, there we go. Just hit him with a little spirit explosion instead. Alright, that should be it. This should be the beginning of. The Dragon Ball Z universe story. All right, what we got? What do we have? This is it. Here we go. The time crystals. History 
is changing? The flow of time. Something's very odd about it. At this rate, history. No. Everything will collapse. I wonder how Xenos will play through if Trunks never time traveled. Because he's kind of a huge part in saving. Let's skip this. He's kind of a huge part in um in saving the timeline. From a land far away. Uh, at, least, at least in this game, I mean. Now, come forth. All right. This is the part where I pop in. What am I doing here? All right, so that there, there we go. So that is the last part. Uh, the next part starts off with me fighting against Trunks, uh, testing out my abilities. So we will continue the story in the next episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Wrap so play through. So if you guys want more, again, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Leave a uh, comment letting me know your thoughts and opinions of this playthrough so far. And I will make it happen. But, uh, you know, it's up to you guys. It's, I will try to do a playthrough video every single day um, until we complete it. And then after we complete it, we'll see if we can do more as a different race and stuff like that. But there you have it, folks. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you had fun, if you're enjoying this. And we'll do more. So, yep. Anyways, guys, my name is Ramstar. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.